Here we go again, nothing but cyber, powered by CyberKnight. We've got Yasin Watlal with us, the SE director at CrowdStrike. And uh, everyone knows this name. CrowdStrike is uh, synonymous with security these days. So Yasin, how do you find the threat landscape in the Middle East in the pandemic, post pandemic, and how has CrowdStrike been a part of that threat landscape over the course of the last 18 months? So pre-pandemic, um, and even during the pandemic, obviously with the shift to the remote workforce, we were working from home, um, we've seen a rise of, of ransomware, right? So this is undeniable, where we've had a 75% in 2020 as well in 2021. We've seen extortion, even double extortion now going on. So, uh, you know, it's undeniable that, you know, we do have the cyber threat, which is, um, you know, shifting towards more of, of, of this model. Um, the, um, the fact that we have users that staying so long, which is not something that companies have catered, initially catered for, it's something which uh, people and, and companies still need to, to uh, adopt, you know, things like patching, uh, making sure that, you know, they VPN through the network, right? So it's just some, you know, I think tweaks and, um, and we've seen obviously the, uh, the need of having a stronger software on the endpoints and making sure that, you know, that is uh, solid enough to cater against the cyber threat that we see out there. So it's very important now that you know, all of the investment that we've done on the perimeter, they're not there anymore. So to make sure that you know what, what you have on the, on the, uh, on the endpoints is uh, robust and solid against all the cyber threats. Absolutely, because the perimeter is everywhere now, right? Perimeters so the more. endpoint is critical. Yeah. So, you know, today, speaking about endpoint, I mean, there are a lot of endpoint security players out there these days. Everyone knows that CrowdStrike is up there in every quadrant, right? But yes. what is it that makes CrowdStrike so much more differentiated in such a far leadership position as compared to other endpoint security platforms. What's that power behind CrowdStrike? That power is, um, first we cloud native. We've always been to the cloud, while a lot of the other, I would say, try to do what we call lift and shift. So we've always been in the cloud, we've always been there, and uh, we've uh, leveraged uh, AI from, from, from day one. We started with automation and making sure that, you know, things uh, that are being automated and in, in, in a smart way, which is why our threat intelligence is also very important. So uh, we've uh, made sure to have uh, the, our threat intelligence and, and, and the team that can gather things what's hap happening so that we can train our AI model to cater for all of this uh, threat landscape. And I think um, the fact that you know we have a lot of uh, DNA of security and DNA, cloud DNA within CrowdStrike made that difference today. 100%. I mean, threat intelligence powered endpoint security, right, is as good as it gets because uh, you're crowdsourcing all of this threat intelligence from around the world and being able to help customers anywhere in the world respond to incidents quickly or prevent attacks from happening before they happen. Exactly. Good. Now, you know, Zero Trust is a very big play for CyberNight because we built our entire offering around Zero Trust security. Uh, recently, CrowdStrike, of course, have acquired some interesting organizations and are innovating in the Zero Trust space, yes. specifically around identity. Yes. Tell us a little bit about how CrowdStrike is innovating in Zero Trust and identity in this unique solution. Yes, it is a crucial and, and very important. What we see in terms of, of threats is that 80% you know, of the breaches involve stolen credentials. And um, so what it means is that if there is an attack, uh, that you know directly has relevant, I mean, the, the, the right credentials, there is all of the first steps of the kill chain which can be bypassed. And you can craft malware, you can craft program so that looks absolutely legitimate. Hence the need to have identity protection to make sure that we don't only uh, allow for, um, you know, uh, just a s single type of authentication to access all of the, all of the network. So the zero trust, is that conditional access to make sure that it's always there, to make sure that, well, if you want to access this particular resource, I need to check this, that you are who you say you are. Very cool. I mean, in conclusion here, uh, Yasin, how does that piece fit into the endpoint security piece? And how does it all complete the story for CrowdStrike? Yes, so as part of our platform, we have about 19 modules and uh, all of our modules, obviously, you know, part of the, of, of, of the platform. In terms of the, the threat landscape and making sure that we cut off all the type of attack, when you have an attack that started directly from the lateral movement, started directly from the identity, 
to, to ensure that we have this level of analytics and conditional app, uh, uh, access applied to the Active Directory. Yeah. This is where we're going to have visibility and make okay. sure that we apply the right policy and the right hardening at this level. Okay. Excellent. So it all ties together in a comprehensive, holistic story. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Yassine. Really appreciate it. Wish you all the best at the iTechs and I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you very much, Agnash.